use your mobile phone. We do actually mean Google and surveillance while you're on the device in general, but actually we mean Google. All right. Well, to prevent that, this, this person could, for example, place some handwritten robot TXT at your garden gate. Did you see that? Someone wrote a, a robot TXT and, and nailed it to the, um, the sign at the entrance of the uh, city. Or it, it didn't work though, it was, it was faulty. Another thing we need is account carers um, people that look after your fifth, sixth account and see what would be helpful or hindering for your career. And for both of these, you need carers. You can't do this all yourself all the time, can you? So then rent a flash mob, another future field, online and offline. Then Fever, you always ask, how could you make money with your blog? Rent a flash mob is our suggestion. I still, do, I already do that online, says Fefe. Of course, the thing to do is to start making money from that. Yes, it has been tested. You just have to commercialize it and webinize it. Okay, which leads us to uh, the federal botnets fighting uh, carer. Um, this is the guy that works at the federal botnets fighting hotline. Um, you've seen the announcement that the federal authority is going to introduce an, a, a botnet fighting institution, but no one had heard of that before. So we had calls from ministries at the club asking what is this? This was obviously had been created somewhere and, and, and then the whole thing gained such a dynamic because nothing else was happening that some poor people would have to actually implement it. Just imagine a call center is going to be created with, a, with an 0800, a free number presumably, and everyone with computer problems can call there. My internet's not working. I'm sure I've got a virus. Help me. And we were laughing when the SPD was talking about full employment. I believe that this is going to be a Microsoft bailout since they didn't get any money from the financial support. So this is a way for Microsoft to bail out because you can disinfect Windows ray computers with other Windows computers. So there's a quote from this company. They said, I, I think they said, Windows customers that don't um, install all patches are playing Russian roulette. Weren't there some great ideas like uh, inspection of payloads? Like you said, uh, a Windows computer or a Linux computer has to connect to something and um, it somehow must be possible to figure out what it's doing there. Well, who knows, perhaps they also open a site where you can upload suspicious files. That would be the bailout for hard disk um, manufacturers. Some new transports. A troll for uh, discussions to delete articles. This is a species, uh, this usually appears anonymously. Those are people who have 
have been really stressed on their day and they think, you know, what am I going to do to just get some distance from the day that I had? Well, the next thing is um, sock puppet player. So in the Wikipedia, that was not absolutely clear. And this is if one person has two accounts, one real account and a socket puppet account. So to really convince people of something, you just need plenty of accounts like that. Next thing is a mobile malware update. We've been talking for many, many years about cell phones as part of bot networks. Just, just like announced Apple delivered, they have a mobile bot network with 20,000 users, people that jailbreaked, the jailbreaked iPhones and didn't set or change the default password. And they even did not disable their S secure shell daemon and these were plenty of people. And then we could see at the time that it's a, it's a pre-taste, it's, it's a taste of what's to come with, what's coming with um, IPv6 because it only really worked in those countries in which mobile phones genuinely get their own IP address which one can reach from, from outside, namely the Netherlands and Australia. And according to IPv6, it'll be everyone. There's a new and fashionable sport with WikiLeaks, with um, WikiLeaks and with, um, yeah, the leaking documents, leaking documents, whistleblowing is becoming a new transport. Andro Tor for Android. Is, is in its early phases. It's now working better. Data hygiene, data hygiene 2.0. Data is the garbage problem of information society. Everything that's counted remains. Everything that gets narrated is remains. As you know, as you can imagine, everything everything that's narrated goes. And what's interesting is the parallels that we can draw between data hygiene and real life hygiene. It's not that important. With AIDS, for example, it's not so important how many, how often you had sex with whom, but rather how often those with whom one had sex had sex with others, so parallel to be drawn. As we know for more than decades, <laughs> unprotected data relations with frequently changing partners is dangerous. Just look at the recent studies on this, how you prevent mass epidemics. Very interesting things there, so-called super spreaders. If you inoculate those, that's as good as, just inoculate the super spreaders and it's as good as unspecifically inoculating 80% of the population and things like that. It's, it's very interesting, very crazy. You do not lie to Google. I always shiver when I read that sentence. There's a shiver down my spine. I read that this year and this is so incredibly true. It's shocking. You do not lie to Google. The most honest communication these days that you happen that happens on the planet these days is that between a person and a search engine. There is no beating about the bush there. You are specific there. There's so much context as you can 